tell us something about yourself and uh, you know what led to your interest in the technology world oh okay so uh, yeah i am professor sachit chakravarti um i am a professor of aerospace engineering at iit madras okay um right now i am actually uh, a um a uh, uh, cto at uh, the eplane company um working full time there uh, but still uh, holding the professor's position at iit madras i also am a co-founder uh, at a bunch of other startups that are uh, working out of a combustion center i head the the national center for combustion r and d at iit madras where many of these startups are uh, uh, located um what took me to technology is very simple uh, back when i was uh, i think it's two things one is uh, back when i was uh, getting out of high school i wrote the uh, joint entrance exam and i cleared the iit and so i could get into iit and so that was my entrance into technology that is the first step the second thing is i didn't leave it that's the only thing <laughs> but if you really specifically asking about the technology that uh, we are talking about at uh, eplane or other startups uh, there is a lot of things that are emerging today like things like 3d printing or electrification um and uh, a lot of simulation capability that is making design easier uh, and so on so it emboldens us to actually solve practical problems of uh, high caliber uh, or high technology um, so that's where that's the position today so and then why did i do it uh, is because uh, um yeah we were actually doing some innovations at uh, our combustion center and i wanted to see them uh, through the light of day and uh, it seemed like we were actually working in areas where uh, the industry the traditional industry was fairly big uh, it's not as if like you could uh, come up with a, you, you could have a startup and then get google to hire you or take your solution or uh, uh, acquire hire or whatever it is uh, these are like well entrenched industries for about 100 years plus like like the ones like ge or uh, any of those things and uh, they work with very uh hardware intensive designs and products and uh, so they make a lot of uh, um large investments into their future plans so it's very difficult to actually steer them away from what they're doing with innovations that you can show so the best way to do it is to do it yourself um which means that you have to have startups but again you can't start up a ge or a you know any such company overnight so you have to start with small products which means that you have to learn what will be the market for the small products um and so on so it's not like you can actually just demonstrate a small product so that you can do a bigger product uh, you can do that to bit but ultimately the the bigger product that we can actually do with your startup also is a small product so like a small plane or a small rocket or something uh, and you have to find markets for those and that's why things like 3d printing and all that stuff is very important yeah. so it's it's a culmination of a lot of things uh, together that uh, brought me here to where we are, where i am So so tell us what is the core idea behind the eplane company The core idea uh, I mean all startups actually have to look at what is the problem that we are solving um so the core idea here is to see how we can alleviate the uh, city traffic um so we get stuck in traffic for very long times in in a day um mostly like about an hour each way at least and so on that's a lot of time uh, in a in a person's life i think uh, cumulatively you spend about 3 years of our life that's a lot i mean it's almost like you can get a degree if you were to just be able to learn while you're stuck in traffic um that's what we are trying to solve uh, and that is now possible because if you actually go electric we can make planes cheaper to own operate and maintain so is it now possible for us to actually take the aerial route um add a an additional dimension to our uh, travels um so that's what is enabling us to solve this problem So uh sir can you also elaborate what are the unique features that a flying taxi by the eplane company would offer to the general public Right so uh we uh have actually had a hindsight advantage um from what are the other offerings um, that's that are being made and um we wanted to see how the product market fit us and we found that we can actually do something better So uh we are actually looking at a taxi right so that means that the a, a feature of a taxi should be first of all it should be at a fare that is affordable to people second it should be possible to 
hail the taxi to where you are and head to where you want to go um and um third the taxi should actually be able to do multiple trips in a single day before it uh, recharges its battery or uh, ref- refills its tank uh, with fuel or whatever right so all of these features actually are not so easy to accommodate in a plane that we as we know it um so uh, for you to be able to actually get the plane to where you are and take you to where you want to go uh, the plane has to be fairly compact because it has to reach very every nook and cranny so to speak um and uh, for you to be able to do multiple short trips uh, before you want to recharge you have to be able to fly a bit slowly so that um uh, you are able to do short distances um and uh, for you to be able to do multiple such short distances you should have the capability to uh be going one one long distance in a single charge that's like a long range right or a fairly good uh, um mileage so uh the the high mileage is actually obtained by having wings but um the multiple short hops requires uh us to go slow and that's a combination that is not so easy to achieve in uh, planes um and that's the thing that we are trying to crack by making use of the fact that it's actually be tall um and uh, so we have a way by which we will try to enhance the lift uh generating capacity of our wings with the help of feet all that makes it compact slow flying and long range all at the same time that will allow it to uh come to your doorstep take you to where you want to go and do multiple such short hops uh, in a single charge before it has to have a downtime charging so this is this combination is something that we have not found any other uh player in the in the world uh, of course okay so sir how is it beneficial for the general public like like she and me and you like general concerns like you just <laughs> talked about the affordability right ki uh, the e plane uh, made by the e plane company has to be affordable for the general public so what else can we expect from the e plane so what we expect is uh, that um, we can position this um, to start with it may be about um, three times plus more than your uber fare um, but significantly reduce i mean the the travel time reduction will always be there right um so uh, like for example if you take a typical trip in bangalore that may take about one and a half hours we can actually do this in 10 minutes so what is like taking 90 minutes taking under 10 minutes is like about a 90 10x decrease in travel time for initially uh, starting with about 3x increase in uh the price so people who are actually really hard pressed for time uh, for a particular time right so it, it may be it may be you or uh, either of you or me or uh, somebody who is like really super rich doesn't matter at a particular time that could be a very critical moment when you want to save time and hop off right so uh i think 3x is actually still affordable for those kinds of times but as we go further uh, and uh, populate the skies with more and more planes um, we expect that the the tariff can actually come down to something like one and a half times or so uh, and that would still be affordable to a large section of uh, people let's say those who take uber ola uh, could be middle class upper middle class and kind of people and uh, for the lower middle class it will mean that uh, the the streets and roads are actually decongested because a lot of people are actually taking taking to the sky so the, the people who are actually congesting to the roads are the people who drive in cars uh, and you you take the cars away from the road the roads will actually look much uh, quieter and cleaner and uh, easier to navigate for even the poorer people so it's it's actually in, in some sense uh, let's say the richer people are actually getting out of the way of the road, poorer people so we get more space around right right so sir it's been 4 years since the inception of the company so uh, what are the milestones that the company has achieved so far yeah so we um, uh, ideated this in 2017 um, but uh, we actually incorporated this only in 2019 and um, we started looking at doing the air taxi in 2020 so it's been about 2 years now 2 to 2 and a half years um, since we actually started thinking about the air taxi itself Uh, and uh, even there it took a while because of the pandemic it, it took a while for us to raise the funds for expanding our team from initial 3 or 3 to maybe 25 from the first round and now we are actually at 50 having secured the second round funding so uh, 
our first milestone uh, has been to do a subscale prototype which is capable of carrying 50 kgs and going a very long distance um, to demonstrate that uh, we should be able to do this and uh, the second one second milestone is uh, to do the first prototype of the full scale vehicle itself so these are expected to happen in the next few months uh, to uh, the later part of this year um, so sometime this year we should actually have both these milestones plot a team plays a very important role in any company so uh, how has how has been the contribution of the e planes team in the you know in uh, making its vision true okay so if you want to distinguish between uh, the founder and the team as far as the vision uh, it's the job of the founder to actually share the vision with the team and uh, it's for the team to actually buy into the vision so once that is done i think it's the team that actually plays all the role because uh, they are actually essentially bought into the vision and uh, that's exactly what's happening at uh, eplane i think everyone in eplane is actually uh, fairly uh, enamored with the vision that we we uh, impart uh, in bringing this to reality so yeah once that that's the only job that i do which is to essentially share the vision with them and uh, beyond that it's actually the entire team team's play right because this is uh, highly technical each each one plays its part um so yeah unless people are, and then it's it's a team of about 50 people it's actually quite small by uh, standards of a typical company that will make a plane so each person should actually be working hard and uh, putting in his best yeah that's how it is that, that's how we pull it off okay so so before we end this interview do you have a message for our viewers uh yeah i mean i think we are at the cusp of a lot of changes that are expected to happen uh so this is like 2022 so by 2030 i think there will be lots of changes that uh, we expect will happen uh electrification uh, of a lot of vehicles large large segments of vehicles will change uh, the economy significantly um and uh they also i'm also optimistic that the economy will grow uh, upwards uh, northwards significantly uh, so we need to uh, be you know uh, bracing for exciting times uh, post pandemic particularly you know where we have gone through a lot of depressing times but uh, uh, the main optimism is primarily because of the change it mean we can't we can't quite clearly say that things will be hunky dory but uh, we expect that there will be much different economy than what it will be what what it has been in the in the, in the past so we'll move away from fossil uh we'll go more towards uh, you know carbon neutral or carbon negative technologies uh so i think everybody should play a part everybody should be waking up to this and uh, everybody should jump in on this and see how they can uh, you know participate in this change that's sort that's what i would think right right so uh, so thank you so much for your time and we really wish all the very best to the e plane company and may it brings a positive change in the in the you know in the environment in the nation and in the you know entire universe as a whole and thank you so much for your time sir thank you so much